Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, Karibu Sana, my name is Doris and today I want to share with you my March bullet journal setup for the year 2020. Stick around till the end, like, comment, subscribe and you can also share this with friends and family. I have an ornamented gourd theme for March. I know gourds have many purposes, uh, like in some communities here it is used to ferment milk or make musik, which is really delicious by the way. And I'm from a community where it's broken into two to make a calabash that is used to serve porridge or fermented porridge. So I'll be playing a lot with color and pattern in this setup. The quote is a reminder to stay present in everything and I tried working with drop shadows for the first time and I hope I'll do a great job throughout the, the spread. For my monthly overview, I just have a grid, what's new, apart from changing the number of pages I use for the monthly overview. So at this point, I'll just um, make my grid, which is six by six, and of course, place all my uh, all the days of the week, and then I'll place all my dates. And what I love about bullet journaling is the liberty to choose however I want my monthly overview to look like. So at the end or along the side, I have my monthly head and some little words just for each letter to keep up with the theme. I have been loving individual habit trackers so I added a few more things I'd like to track this month and since we have 31 days I'll just go ahead and add 10 boxes across and an extra box on the fourth row because I did not want to have a funny looking box at the end or hanging at the end and this way I can have more space so after this I'll just go ahead and add my main header and after this I'll just highlight all the boxes or all the placements and place all my habit titles. I messed up with one but that is something I can correct with some correction fluid so that is nothing to worry about. Place all my dates and I am done. It is Lent or in Swahili Kwaresma, so that's what I have as my title here. I have a special spread for the things I want to be mindful of during this season. So that's the whole purpose of this spread. I hope you also like it. For my mood tracker, I have a huge word with various shapes which will represent a day. Of course, this I will color in with the dominant mood for the day and usually I have a key on the side to depict or show the kind of mood and, and color that goes in there. Add in my mood title, uh, of course, color in my word so that it looks a bit beautiful then number all my shapes to have the specific dates and then I am done. Next is my gratitude log. It's super simple. All I have is my title at the top, keeping up with the drop shadow theme again. Then I have my words that are peeping through the side of the page. They kind of look like bowling pins. And I love how, how simple they look and it really is one of my favorite spreads so far. My brain dump page is similar to the gratitude log. I have a title at the top. And then I ended up uh, trying to sketch a color brush, but yeah, I'll just stick to the words. Um, just color this in, super simple. That's it. I love finding quotes on Pinterest and here is one. 
It is also an opportunity for me to practice more lettering and using the drop shadows. So it's a plus for me and it's also a beautiful quote that would remind me to have a kind heart, fierce mind and a brave spirit all the time. The adjective for the month of March is actually from my brother who taught me this word recently and it means persisting tirelessly and unwavering, indefatigable. So come on, if you are already at this point, please hit that like button. You can also subscribe if you're not already. You can also think about sharing this video. Next is my meal plan page, same as all the others I've been doing, nothing much changes here, so yeah. I'm setting up the first weekly spread for the month of March. All I have here is a grid. Nothing much that goes on here. I just switched up whenever with how I feel like each week. Then I love the word that pops on this side. I thought that was a really nice touch to this. Just colored it in brown and some rainbow colors and added in some patterns. So after this, I, I remember to number my pages and I remember they are not placed in my week so I did that as well. So here is the final flip through. I hope you found the theme interesting. I hope you also drew some inspiration from it. If you did, give it a like. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends so that you can continue building this bullet journal community. So until next time, bisous. Bye.